Okay, good morning. Welcome to Yeshiva YouTube. Ian Ruth Ben Sion, the Dharam Daf Chavav, number 26. The Gemara today discusses <clears throat> the concept of Nedr Shehutar Miksa Sehutar Kulo. If I make a Pesach and I say, I would have known, I say, like in the case of the Mishnah, Chavayam Abayz, people are eating his figs, a bunch of people. He wants to ask them about us so and shouldn't steal it from him. So then he finds out that his father was part of the group that stole his figs. His father didn't have any money. He stole his figs from him. Uh, so he didn't want to ask for his father about him. Keep it up, aim. So therefore, he comes to base and says, I know my father was part. I never would have taken this nether on himself. Right? I would have I would have said everyone else is us except my father. So what do we do? Do we say, since his father is mother, everyone's mother? Do we say, no, just his father is mother, and the rest of them are still us? This is the Machos Beit Shammai Sil, the Mishnah on Chavhayam and Beis. And we pass from the Kibbutz Hill all that. Since his father's mother, they're all mother. Now, Rabbah and Rabbah have a machlokas about the machlokas b'sham b'shalal. We pass him like Rabbah. Rabbah was the first opinion. He was older than Rabbah. He was a Rebbe of Rabbah. Uh, he, he says that in a certain case, right, depends how he phrases it. When he comes to the basin, the Mater Neder, what is his Pesach? What is he telling the basin? If he phrases his Pesach like this, he says, I would have said, if I knew my father was part of them, I would have said, they're all lost, her, except for my father. So even Beis Hillel would agree that maybe his father is mother, uh, but the rest of them are Asr. Um, or maybe he would say, actually, that the father is not even mother. Everyone's Asr. It doesn't work. We don't say, um, it doesn't work. It doesn't say clearly in the Gemara what, what the halacha would be. Do we say that even his father is Asr, or we say just his father is Asr? So that's a rabbi is not clear about that. I'm going to weigh in on that, uh, that, that, that uh, uncertainty in a second. <clears throat> Rava says no. Rava says they're talking about the Mahalibe Shim is talking about a case Dafka where they say Kulkam Kutzma Abba. And Basil rules in that case leniently, but even Beisham would agree if he says Zevize. Rava says the Mahlokis is he says all the names of the people. He says John, Steve, Mike, and my father, right? I would have said John, Steve, and Mike are Asr. My father is mother, so they're all equal. It's not Kulkam Asrum. The first statement is not contradicting the second statement. You have to take into account the whole statement. He enumerates names. So therefore, in that case, Rabbi says, that's where Basil argues and says, Neder Shuhutar Miksatsa Hutar Kulo. But if he says Kulchem, and then he says something which contradicts it, he first says, everyone's Asr, and he says, Chutz Ma'aba. So the second half of his statement seemingly contradicts the first half of his statement. According to the first half of his statement, even his father is included. The second half of his statement, everyone is included except his father. So... How do we reckon over here? So Rabbah says, even Basil agrees that we don't allow, we say the nether is chal. Is it chal entirely, even his father? Maybe it's all. It's chal at least on everybody else, not his father. So I'd like to suggest, and the problem with this is, what's the problem? The problem is, is that Rabbah seems to be going according to Rabbah. There's Machlokas and Mesechus Tmura, which the Gemara brings um, here explaining Shittas Rava, Rabbah and Rabbi Yossi, about whether when I say something, and I say a, sta a statement after it, which seemingly contradicts the first statement, do I have to reckon with both statements? Or do I say, it's false Lashon Risha? The mayor says, you go after Lashon Risha. For example, the, the case is when I say, Zu Tmura Ola Tmura Shlaman, right? I have an animal, and two animals, an Ola and a Shlaman. And I want to exchange one for another animal for one of those two animals. So Tmura is also, now that we, Tmura, but the halacha is that when you do Tmura, both of them, you don't, the first one doesn't lose his Kedusha, and the second one gets Kedusha. So what is that third animal? See, so do Tmura Sola, Tmura Shlamim. Remeir says it's only Tmura Sola. The third animal is an Ola. It can't be an Ola and a Shlamim. It can, can't be technically an Ola and a Shlamim. But he also says, no, you have to reckon both of his words. And therefore, half of it's an Ola, half of it's a Shlamim. Practically, you can't be mocker of it as a Korban. You have to wait until it gets a Mum, and then sell it, and split the money, half for Ola, Korban Ola, half for Korban Shlamim. So according to Rabbi Yossi, and presumably we pass in Rabbi Yossi, we usually pass in Rabbi Yossi. The Gemara says, Rabbi Yossi, Nimuko, Yimo. Even according to Rabbi Yehuda, we pass in Rabbi Yossi, the Gemara says in Erevin. So according to Rabbah, it seems we hold like Rabbi Meir. He says, even Basil agrees when he says, Kulchem, Kutz Ma'aba, right? You say, Tfos, Loshan, Rishon. Even Basil agrees, Tfos, Loshan, Rishon, Kulchem, Asurim, Kutz Ma'aba. So is there any way of reconciling? So, how do, how do we reconcile? We pass them like Rabba. We pass them like Rabbi Yossi. Is there a way of reconciling the two? So <clears throat> I'd like to suggest over here that when Rabba states 
that even if he is moda in the case of Kulcham Chutz Ben Abba, he could technically hold a Rabbi Yossi. He could hold a Rabbi Yossi. The question over here, Rabba and Rav are arguing about, is what is, is this a Pesach or a Charata over here? It, it's hard to distinguish sometimes what's a Pesach and a Charata. A Pesach is, if I would have known something, I never would have made the Neda. Right? In this case, if I had known my father was eating from the fig, I never would have made the Neda on my father. Right? <clears throat> so, it's a lack of knowledge, but is that is he regretting the nether or is he finding a pesach he just lacks knowledge i lack knowledge i wouldn't have taken the nether on my father so <clears throat> what is it over here so according so i mentioned the way pesach works in Charata, which are totally two totally different ways pesach is like a mecca toast a nether betos. if i would have known something I never would have taken the nether upon myself so therefore the nether never started in the first place once i revealed that you don't even have to Actually, do basin doesn't have to do it. People can matter in the darn themselves if they realize that it was betos. It, 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 you just it's a realization, a gilu milsa, a revelation that it wasn't actually another in the first place. Charata, you need a basin, you need a, a big rub, or you need someone a mumcha, the rabim, someone to be matter the nether. Charata works basically. It's ne, it's mikan alaba. I took the nether, but now I regret knowing that it's my father. So is this a pesach or a charata, right? <clears throat> so. If it's a harata, so you need the basin, the basin to work, and how is the harata working? It's based on what the person who took the nether tells basin, right? And that's, he phrases it. If he says, so we're using his words, right? Basin is using what he says in order to annul the nether from now on, right? <clears throat> so if it's using harata, so then it's similar to hekfish, like with Machos Remain Rav Yossi. Where words have power, and a dharm created an isra on the chafsa. A nether, you create a korban nisra, you, you change the status of an animal from hul into hektish, right? So it's chal on the animal hektish, um, which is more than a nether. <clears throat> so in that case, when words are meaningful to make a chalos on a korban, so if you're using charata, so then it's relevant to Malchus Jeremiah and Riyasi. I like to just according to Rabbah, he's learning that. What we're matering the nether over here is not through a pesa. It's not through charata. It's through a pesa. According to, according to Rabbi Rava, it's using charata. And that's why he's told of the machlokas to Remeir and Rabbi Yossi, where it's similar to hektish. However, according to Rava, maybe he holds like Rabbi Yossi. The reason he says, Kulcham Asur and Chutzma Abba, right? We don't say nether, shurta, mitzvah, and shurta, kula, is because we're using a pesach over here. We're using a pesach, right? The way he understands it, when I say Kulcham Asur Abba, it's a lack of knowledge. I didn't know my father was eating in it. So therefore, I never intended to make the nether in the first place, right? And therefore, even um, even Beit Hillel agrees that it, that it doesn't work over here. It doesn't work because he doesn't agree um, that a person really wouldn't have taken the nether uh if he just was father, when the person says, Kul kama, surun, it's not that we're tough as lost original. We're going to be taken into effect, like Rabbi everything that he says. However, to, to make a Pesach like that, according to Rabbi, it doesn't work, right? You don't say, Nether, Chutu, Mgsasa, Hutra, Kulo, because it's not, a, it's not enough of a lack of knowledge to make a Pesach, right? I said, they're all Aser, and then I find out my father. So if I would have known, I wouldn't have taken another my father. That's a weak Pesach. It's a weak Pesach. It's not a good enough Pesach to mat the Nether. And that's why I stated, according to Rabbah, not only are the rest of the people lost, sir, but the Pesach doesn't even work for the father. That's Rabbah's unique sheet. It doesn't work for the father because it's not a good Pesach because to take one person out of the equation is not significant enough for us to say he didn't intend to make the nether. He didn't take the nether. He didn't intend to make the nether just to exclude his father. It's not a good enough Pesach. So the Pesach doesn't even work at all, not including it for his father. I hope you enjoyed today's share. Big Kiddush, but I like it. I think it's really good. See you in the next one.